Okay, in this video we're going to start talking about uh, the notion of cardinality of a set. So the cardinality of a set is just uh, the number of elements in the set. Okay, so um, first of all, before we talk about anything else, um, and it, besides cardinality you could also say uh, order. Okay, so the uh, order of a set is the number of elements in the set, or you could just say the size. Okay, so the uh, size of a set is the number of elements in the set. So the cardinality, uh, order, or size, they all mean the same thing. It's just the number of elements uh, in a set. Okay. So, um, oh, and it's denoted. Let's talk about how it's denoted. So uh, if S is a set, so the cardinality cardinality of a set S is uh, denoted like this. Okay, so it's just uh, the set with big old vertical bars around it. So just uh, the set name with vertical bars around it. So that's uh, the, how we denote the cardinality of a set. So let's see a couple brief examples, and then in the next video we'll start talking a little more about this. Um, and also, I guess before that we'll do some notions in here too, but example one real quick. Uh, so let's say we have a set S, which is, uh, I don't know, 2, 5, and 7. Okay. So the cardinality of S uh, what's the cardinality of S? Well, we just count how many no uh, numbers there are on the set, how many members, how many elements here. So 2, 5, 7, that's one element, two elements, three elements. So the cardinality of S is 3 because we have three elements here. Okay, so it, you know, it really is that simple. Sometimes it could be a little more complicated, but uh, the notion is pretty simple. You know, if you want the cardinality of a set, just count how many elements there are, uh, and that's pretty much it. So that's example 1 here. Um, now we also have special kinds of sets that we can talk about, so let's talk about some of those. So um, there's this notion of a singleton set. So uh, a singleton set, or we could just say singleton. So a singleton uh, or a singleton set is a set with uh, only one element. Okay, so a singleton set is a set with only one element. So that's something like, uh, for example, so let's say example two here. Uh, so let's say we have a, a set B, which contains the element negative uh, 12. Okay, so be very, very, very careful. Even though it has only one element, you're still talking about a set, so you still have to have the curly braces. So it's wrong to say this. Okay, so now you're saying B equals the number negative 12. But what you really want to say in this context is B equals the set that contains the number negative 12. Okay, so be very careful about that. Um, even with singleton sets or just singletons, uh, you know, they have only one element, so, but they're still a set. So you have to have the curly braces. Okay? So again, um, with cardinality here, uh, the cardinality is just one. Okay? So the cardinality of a singleton set or the cardinality of a singleton, okay, singleton, singleton set, same thing. Uh, the cardinality is just one because a singleton is a set with only one element. And remember, the cardinality of a set is the number of elements in the set. So if a singleton has only one element, then the cardinality is just one. Okay? So that's uh, the notion of a singleton set. Um, now we also have this, uh, similarly, there's a notion of the empty set. Okay? And we do say the empty set because we really only talk about one uh, such set. So uh, the empty set, okay, we say the empty set uh, is the set with no elements. Okay. So um, besides empty sets, some people like to say uh, null null sets. Um, I don't really like that term because it, it kind of means something else in a in a later math class. Um, but it, you know it doesn't really matter. I guess some people say empty set, some people say null set. Um, it's usually clear from context what you're talking about. But empty set I think is more common. Uh, I've seen it more often than null set in this context anyway. So empty set, null set, same thing. But uh, I do prefer to use empty set. But anyway, um, how do we denote the empty set? So uh, there's a couple different ways to denote it. So we could say, uh, 
little circle-y thingy, like kind of like a zero letter O, something like that, with a slash through it. So it's more common to put the slash going this way, uh, tilted this way, I mean. So we could say it like that, or we could just do curly braces with nothing in between them. Okay, so uh, that's the empty set here, that's the empty set here. But be very careful, don't combine these two, okay? Don't combine them, don't say this. Um, you know, don't do that. Uh, that's wrong because um, this is totally different from these two. So these two guys over here, this one and this one, these two guys here, they mean exactly the same thing, literally exactly the same thing. This is the empty set, that's the empty set. They're totally interchangeable, mean exactly the same thing. This over here is different, okay, so don't do that. Be very careful with that. Uh, this is actually a set. This is a singleton set, okay? This is a set whose only element is the empty set. Okay, so it is kind of weird, you know, you have a set inside of a set, but hey, it could happen, right? So it's a set that's an element of another set. But basically, this is a set indicated by the curly braces, and the only element is the empty set, okay? So it is kind of weird, but again, it is totally different from this here, okay? So empty set, empty set, set whose only element is the empty set. This is different from these two. These two are totally identical. They mean exactly the same thing. They're both the empty set. This is uh, different. Okay, so be careful with that. Don't, uh, don't do that. Uh, I do prefer this notation here just because it's easier to write. Curly braces sometimes kind of uh, a pain to write, but also this is just a little bit quicker. Um, and it does show up in the literature, like textbooks and things like that, every now and then. So it's good to be able to recognize that, but they're both exactly the same, okay? So um, as far as cardinality goes, well, if S uh, equals the empty sets, you know, remember the empty set just has no elements, right? Remember the cardinality is the, uh, cardinality of a set is the number of elements in the set. Okay, well, the empty set is the set with no elements, so the cardinality of S is zero, okay? So the cardinality of the empty set is zero. Okay, so that's, um, that's pretty much it for this video. We'll talk a little bit more about some related topics uh, in the next video. But again, cardinality of a set uh, is just the number of elements in the set. And instead of cardinality, we could say order or size. Um, and a singleton set is a set with only one element. The empty set is the set with no elements. The cardinality of a singleton set is, of course, one, because uh, it only has one element. And the cardinality of the empty set is zero, because it has no elements. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, a little more info in the next video.